Columbia got a special Memorial Day treat earlier today. Good afternoon. I'm Brittany Pieper. And I'm Chris Goffner. And today for Jim, you might have seen parachuters floating into downtown Columbia this morning, but it took a little bit of work to make that happen. KMUH's Alyssa Cazares spent the day with the Golden Knights and has more on how their jump went. Alyssa? Alyssa Cazares, KMU8 News. Thank you, Alyssa. There will be a memorial service today at the Centralia City Cemetery. The local Veterans and Foreign Wars Post is hosting the event as well as the Avenue of Flags. A little more than 400 flags lie the roads of the Centralia Cemetery. Each is labeled with the name of a deceased veteran. One of those names belongs to the grandfather of the event's guest speaker. He says that while Memorial Day can be a fun time with family, it's important to remember those the day really honors. We've been at war for 13, 14 years and many people have become disconnected uh, with the fact that we've been at war. Unless you have a military service member as a family member, loved one, spouse, you really don't think about the day-to-day -day life of you know, a country at war for the last 13 or 14 years. Ball says that even though holidays honoring veterans are important, he likes to think of every day as Memorial Day. President Obama paid tribute to veterans in a Memorial Day ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery this morning. The president laid a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns to honor the sacrifices of armed services members. He also spoke specifically on the stories of several veterans. He says each veteran's story is different, but they are all connected to their commitment to a common cause. Also in Washington, 12 veterans from all of the service branches laid wreaths at the Memorial's Freedom Wall in remembrance of their fallen comrades in arms. The Freedom Bell was rung to honor the sacrifices of all veterans and commemorate the 70 years since the Second World War came to an end in Europe and the Pacific. This year's Memorial Day marks a new chapter for American soldiers in Afghanistan as the majority of forces there have left. A wreath-laying ceremony took place to honor those killed in combat in Afghanistan. More than 2,300 U.S. soldiers and more than 1,100 coalition soldiers were killed there over the past 14 All years. That. Coming up later in the show. Well, Mid-Missouri has gotten pretty lucky over Memorial Day weekend weather-wise. Other places, that's not the case. At least one person is dead and several others missing after floodwaters ravaged parts of Oklahoma and Texas. In fact, the National Weather Service has issued 70 flash flood warnings in Oklahoma already, more than the past four years combined. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez has more on the crazy holiday weather. China issues a warning against the United States, and there are potential threats against U.S. airplanes. KMU8's Claire Kopsky has those stories and more in today's First Nation That's Report. your first look around the nation. Thanks so much. The weather is warming up, and that means people are hopping into pools and lakes. Some important tips about water safety coming up. It's getting back down into the 70s there as well. So certainly not out of uh, the woods for rain yet, but we still need it in the area as well. But well, hopefully not as much as what Texas has seen for sure. Why can't it come during the weekdays? No, I know. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Kenton. Kenton. You're welcome. Pool and wake le lake weather is upon us. But health officials say not enough people practice proper water safety. Some water safety tips next. Swimming is a popular way to cool off as the temperatures rise in the summer, especially during these holiday weekends. But water can pose a serious threat to those who don't take the proper precautions. Drowning is the second leading cause of death for kids in the U.S. between ages 5 and 14. NBC's Erica Edwards has the story. Experts say swimming is a life-building skill, so it's a good idea to swim with a buddy. And if you're new to swimming, you should wear a proper-fitting life jacket. They also suggest learning CPR. It's a story that has many shaking their head in disbelief. A bear is on the loose in Fulton. More than one person has spotted the animal in different areas of the community. Several of you have spoken up and commented on our Facebook page about how the situation has been handled. Chris Reed, uh, Cassie Allen Bosch said, black bears tend to be harmless, happy to see them returning to Missouri. I'm sure they will relocate the offender down south. Emily Stockton said, ah, hope not near my house. Gloria Platts commented, hopefully they can find him safe without harm. And John Strahl had a different take on the incident, saying, it's not on the loose. We are. Coming up on KOMU 8 News at 6, the city of Columbia is considering a change that supporters say could make trash collection safer. And Columbia residents react to an iconic restaurant's last day. That's coming up at 6. Too dry tomorrow afternoon, maybe a 30% chance of a passing shower. Another warm one, though, with a high of 80. All right. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoy the rest of your Memorial Day. Indeed. Weekend. Nightly News is next.